Drunk Fish Gaming. Hello and welcome to the next video. Um, today we're going to be focusing on pandas. Right, so let's get on with it. Shaolin, the first one. So Shaolin is a fighter and has the basic ability smashing. So this deals 270% of physical damage to an enemy. If the target's health is above 50%, Shaolin recovers 10% health. So a way of healing himself, herself, um, just through basic attacks. Yeah, it's good in the early part of the game, but later on it starts to, um, that we don't actually get any health recovered. So, second one. That's not the second one. This is the second one. Triple, triple serving. serving. Yes, I do like my triple servings. Mm. So, attack the enemy three times. Each attack deals 140% of physical damage. So Pretty powerful. An easy way of dealing quick damage. Right. The Seven Chef Strike. I like the name of this one. Attacks mm. random enemy targets seven times, each dealing 100% of physical damage. So this is something at the start of the battle is probably going to get spread out across multiple mm -hmm. enemies. Towards the end, when there's less of them, that is really going to focus on one. Yeah. And you're really going to see huge amounts of damage come out of that one. Yeah. Okay. And finally, the passive ability, Well-Fed Master. So Shaolin gains a 15% accuracy increase and an additional 5% for each living panda in the party. So this is where we first start to see the pandas synergizing with each other mm -hmm. in the first character. Yep. Okay. But as you can see, Fighting Drunk hasn't really focused on the pandas too much, having not unlocked any of them. I got the shards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, okay, so we have Master Duo. So the first, um, it's very cool looking armor, by the way, yeah. Um, so yeah. Slashing Blow is the first ability, and deals 250% of physical damage to an enemy, and then 50% chance to inflict slow. Um, and if uh, target is afflicted by slow, uh, its turn meter is reduced by 30%. So that's really quite useful because you want to be pushing up your turn meter as, as much as you can. So you, you, know, you get more attacks out than the uh, enemy team. Yeah. So the next ability is Path of the Tiger. Oh, misclick. Yep, so uh, must you and three allies recover 30% of their turn meter and then regain regeneration armor increase for two turns. Um, Master Duo gains one extra um, regeneration attack. So really useful skill. Only thing is that I'd like to um, uh, choose which of my allies would actually get that regeneration because sometimes it's, it's on someone that just doesn't need it. Mm -hmm. um, just a little bit of a, a hint there is a bit of a pain. But, you know. but towards the end of a battle, if you've dropped a couple of characters, yeah. this could become really useful to yeah. just making sure that you do survive in yeah. and tough and spots. And given that this guy is likely to be one of the last ones because he's, he's got quite a lot of health and usually isn't targeted first, yeah. um, that can be really helpful. And you'll see in his next ability as well, I think he, uh, obviously leadership ability, you get, the passive ability gets better. Um, when he's on his own. Yeah. Um, so martial knowledge, so um, Master Duo assumes a battle stance, gaining 50% of his turn meter and recovering 35% health. While in battle stance, Master Duo gains 30% crit uh, chance and 30% crit damage. Um, this effect cannot be prevented or removed. Using the ability, again, will cancel the battle stance. And Master Duo gains counterattack for two turns. So if you want to get all those abilities back again, you'll need to then hit the thing, cancel it, and then run the ability again. Yeah. So the bonus is that he does get whilst in battle stance you need to sort of weigh up the view of do you use this again and cancel them or, or do you just leave it and get yeah, crit chance, crit. crit damage? Yeah. yeah, depends where you are. So um, the passive ability, so the lone warrior, so Master Duo is immune to blindness attacks, very useful generally. And if Master Duo is the last remaining fighter, his uh, incoming damage from all sources is reduced by 50%. Again, that sort of works with the, the power earlier. That if this guy's the last person, then he can be really, really useful. Or last past couple of pe uh, last couple of people, then um, this guy is, is who you want. So yeah, so that's uh, Master Duo. Okay, all right. I'm going to enjoy pronouncing this one. Patriarch. Patriarch Key. Oh, very good. We'll, we'll go yeah. with that. That's good. This guy looks like a boss. I love his hair. Yeah, I like the beard. Thanks. Of course, I like the beard. <laughs> the eyebrows are like. Woo. <laughs> Okay, so his first ability, Dragon Strike, deals 220% of magic damage to an enemy, a 50% 50 chance for Kin Lee and a random ally to gain shield, equal to 50% of damage dealt. So that is really going to help out, make sure your team stay alive, and it doesn't matter if they've been injured or not, they're going to get a bonus from this. 
Second one, Fortitude. Oh, misclicked. Give an ally shield equal to 700% of Patriarch Key's magic damage. Remove two debuffs from an ally. So this is the first ability that we've come across in our videos, just showing that there is ways of cleansing when the enemy does debuff you. Again, can you select which ally you give that to? Um, I'm not really sure, but again, it's the sort of thing that you uh, want to target you on ally. this one. Yeah, yeah. That's good. It's much better than the other one, the regeneration. Yeah. Okay, meditation, the third ability, gains armor increase and applies it to all allies for two turns. That is something that's just going to help them awesome. stay alive. Yeah. Okay, crane technique. <laughs> Sounds like a karate kid. <laughs> yeah, assume this, assume this dance, yeah. <laughs> so, when applying shield, Patriarch Key has a 40% chance to heal an ally for 30% of shield. So, that's going to work well with the other abilities. If you do have someone that's lost damage, this is going to heal them up quite a bit whilst giving them the shield at the same time. Useful so. bonus. And then the leader ability, Sensei. So all ally healing spells apply shield equal to 50% of the healing. All attacks by allies from the order restore 20% of their maximum shield. So this is really going to be quite a pain to go against. It's mm. going to mean that your team's constantly healing as long as they are from the order. So if you were to use a full team of pandas, this is really going to help them out, really going to keep them alive and just become a bit of a pain for people. And shield stacks, doesn't it? It keeps stacking. Yeah. It's really, really good. And very annoying if you're against, you know, you, you're not outputting enough damage, you're just constantly hitting shields. It's just, yeah, possible. Yeah. Okay. Foul. So, so um, for me, she's very much a damage dealer, so deals 250% of physical damage to an enemy with sure shot. Um, so if this uh, ability deals damage, foul gains 20% of turn meter. If this ability lands a critical hit, foul gains an additional 20% of turn meter. So you're just boshing out loads of damage there and just increasing the turn meter. So you're just doing more and more damage, which is really good. Um, salvo, so deals 280% of physical damage to the target and two random enemies. A uh, critical hit with this ability decreases the enemy's turn meter by 20%. Again, turn meter benefits, but also loads of damage across the whole team, which is excellent. Yeah, it's a lot of damage in this. I yeah, like so next it. is uh, Grace, so gains the dodge increase and applies uh, to all allies for two turns. Um, so at the start of the game, this tends to be a little bit... I don't tend to use it too much, um, but I think for all allies it's useful, but to a couple of allies, it, you know, the the other team will target someone else, and then it's like, well, you've just wasted the damage that this person will be kicking out. Yeah. So, yeah, so later on it's good, but early on it's not so good. So the dodge is something that I've been finding quite annoying recently. Um, it seems to be really effective, so it just means you can end up wasting decent abilities if they just keep moving out of the way. Uh, Dig Grace, and the last one. Next is the Ranger Brotherhood. So, foul gains a 30% physical damage increase, an additional 5% of each living panda in the party. So, yeah, more panda synergies. Another 25% potential. That's good. Should be pretty good. Okay, Kin Lee. The big guy with the shield. What a beast. Look at that shield and sword. That's they so just cool. look amazing. Yeah. Blade of Fury. I think that is quite fitting. Deal 170% of physical damage to an enemy. This attack deals 50% more critical damage. If the target is at full health, this attack is guaranteed to land a critical hit. Something that's going to be very good at the start of the battle. Mm -hmm. Next up. We have got Jade Wave, so it deals 300% of physical damage to an enemy, 50% chance to apply a tenacity increase to allies for three turns. Three oh. allies for one turn. Thanks. That's your dyslexia kicking in there. I'm yeah. just really not good at reading. <laughs> so tenacity up is really going to help against teams that are applying a lot of debuffs, and along with the other characters earlier in this video, if something does slip through, there is ways to dispel that. Five one one doesn't sound good. Gains taunt and a dodge increase for two turns. Removes two debuffs. Recovers twenty five percent health. So one of the better taunts. Yeah. Yeah. This does look pretty good. If you compare it to Atom from the last video, mm. you can see this is consistent. You're also gaining dodge, and you're recovering health and removing debuffs. Much better choice for a tank. 
than an atom. Mm. Spiritual, spiritual recovery. Kinley recovers 20% health at the start of his turn. Don't need to say anything more about that. Super useful. Lord of the Great Houses. Sounds like a Game of Thrones thing, to be <laughs> honest. Mm. All allied pandas increase their maximum health by 30%. Pandas recover 5% health for each critical hit dealt and for each buff applied. Wow. That is really going to make them quite a tanky, mm -hmm. tanky faction. Something to keep an eye on. Yeah, I think pandas generally are the tankiest, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. big guys. Mm -hmm. And girls. Yeah. Cool. So next we have Ember. So she has got some amazing... Big swinging balls. <laughs> of fire. <laughs> That's going to burn. <laughs> yeah, that's going to burn a lot. Yeah, so first ability is uh, the fireball. So um, deals 250% of, mag of magical damage to an enemy, and the burn target will receive 300% of magical damage instead. Ooh, you're really so, going to want to... Yeah, burn someone first, the burnings out and there. bosh them with a the fireball, which is... Yeah compounding the issue so if you think about amara from the goblins she is going to be able to pump out the burn which is really going to help with ember mm. so meteor so deals uh 450 of magical damage to an enemy and stuns the target for one turn stun stun is useful Annoying. next is spirit of zhao niao i think we'll go with possibly, that possibly yeah um, so it deals 250% of magical damage to all enemies and then 70% chance to inflict burning for two turns. 30% chance to remove all buffs from enemies. So yeah, so you want to start with that one and then go on to the old fireball if you're just using uh, Ember on her own. So um, passive ability, so for each burning stack on enemies, Ember recovers 6% of health at the start of the turn. So the more burning you do, the better for uh, Ember. Nice. Okay, so Rin the Unseen. I like those um, trousers. They're very funky. I, I like the fans. Is it the fans that are glowing, or is it the, the trousers that are glowing? I think it's the trousers. It's got to be the trousers. Yeah. Interesting effect. That's what we look at. <laughs> That's what will get you for your birthday. That's what we're here for. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, that'd be sweet. <laughs> okay. Kanai flings three Kanai enemies, each dealing 100% of physical damage. Fairly sort of average damage, I suppose. But, yeah. you know, it goes across the team. Yeah, it's just spreading it out rather than focusing on one person. Yeah. Fan of Blades. So, deals 200% of physical damage to all enemies. If this ability kills an enemy, it instantly refreshes. And Rin the Unseen it recovers 50% of turn meter. So, that's similar to other abilities that we've seen. I think it was Sergeant Pickle that had something similar. That one dealt more damage, but this gives you your turn meter back. So, really yeah. looks quite good. Reflect strikes, so let's make sure it's on tier 6. So Rin the Unseen gains counter attack and a damage increase for two turns. Recovers 50% of the turn meter. But counter attack is really going to be mm. quite annoying, especially as the basic deals damage to three enemies. So if you keep hitting her, it's just going to keep dealing damage to a few of your team, not just one person. Just beating yourself up. Beating yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> passive ability is like long <laughs> passive ability house of shadows technique so Rin the Unseen gains a 35% physical damage increase and an additional 5% for each living panda in the party panda synergies yep similar Good. to the others so again you're going to want to try and have 5 of them mm -hmm. that's really going to help you out so I think that's it isn't it yeah, been that, through them. That is all the pandas. And one thing I wanted to call out was Shaolin is very much focused on Kung Fu Panda, and I think you know, it's shameless. <laughs> <laughs> like all of the things are focusing on food, aren't they? It's just so <laughs> bad. But you know, it adds a little bit of class to the uh, the, the game. <laughs> I, yeah, what more can you say? <laughs> I love Kung Fu Panda. I've it's never seen it. <laughs> you haven't lived seriously. <laughs> anyway thanks for watching yeah thanks for watching this video so if you liked it hit the like button um, and if you want to see more videos hit subscribe and then the uh, notification bell um, if you want to see as soon as those videos come out right thanks for that and we'll see you on the next one bye